National Educator. Money, money, money. They say that it makes the world go round. If we aren't out working for it, we are out spending it. We use it to buy the things we need and the things we want. But exactly, how do we spend money? Hello, and thanks for joining me for this Tafakari lesson on methods of buying. Today, we are going to be looking at cash buying and higher purchase. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to work out problems involving higher purchase. In this lesson, we are going to follow the pupils as they go on a shopping expedition and discover how different methods of buying work. Let's go see what they are up to. Hey, Opio, let's go over to that shop over there. I want to buy my mother a birthday present. Sure. All right. Amina, here's something that's really pretty, and it's within your budget. These earrings are so pretty. My mother will love them, and they only cost 280 shillings. Look. Here's a necklace which matches the earrings, and it's 200 shillings. That's lovely. I have enough to buy both. This is perfect. Let's go pay for this. One of the pupils used the method of buying called cash buying. If you pay the total amount and go with the item without any conditions, it is called cash buying. Let's go back to the pupils and check what else they have found. How you doing? Fine. Did you manage to get mom's present? Yes, I did. I bought her a pair of earrings and a necklace. Wow, she loves those. Good choice. Very good choice. So what brings you here? Well, I decided to use my savings to buy a television set. Wow, that must be really exciting. But I'm sure you saved for a while. Well, yes, I have. Hey, why don't you two help me find a nice one? Sure, that sounds fun. Opio? Sounds good to me. I don't have enough money to buy any of the TVs here. Let's go look somewhere else. All right. 